Hey guys, Cell here, and welcome back to some Fairy Fencer F Admin Dark Force. Let's get started. This time I'm gonna be using my keyboard, so this should be fun. Welcome, we have all the latest for your adventuring needs, whether it's medicine, armor, or clothing. We stock it all. Our prices can't be beat. If you've got the items you don't need anymore, we'll even buy those off of you too. Alright, we're back to the shop. And Aaron's tutoring. Alright. Alright, talk. A special request. Welcome, what are you looking for today? Do you sell anything I can use to make collecting theories easier? Please come back again soon. Hey, you totally just ignored me. Yes, yes you did. It is so difficult learning your keyboard. Welcome! Oh, you must be a new fencer. Adventurers of all types visit this pub, so you might learn some useful information for your travels. There might even be something I can assist you with, so please speak to us freely. Hold you. What do you fight for, and what do you live for? Huh? I never think about that kind of crap. I just want to do what I feel like doing. I understand you act all tough, but you're really holding on to a deep shadow. Man, you must be wasted, huh? Quit clinging to me, it's annoying. Hey kid, you have fun having fun drinking? I'm not a kid, the name's Fang. I'm a handsome guy, or so I'm told. <laughs> Did you really just say that about yourself? You're an interesting guy. Yes, yes, Fang is very interesting, damn it. This button combination. Oh my, you seem to have an ill omen regarding women. Are you a fortune teller or something? Only as a hobby, but my fortunes have a pretty solid reputation for being right. Hmm, I see. It's sad for me to admit this, but I can think of a lot of reasons why your fortune would be right. Oh, can you, Fang? Can you? What you doing, mister? You look like you're walking and staring into the space at the same time. I'm patrolling the town to keep the peace. It's not like I'm loitering or anything. I got it! You're a patroller loitering! Why'd you just combine them? Because <laughs> she wanted to. Oh, I've never seen you around here before. Are you a traveler? Yeah, pretty much. Back in the day, Zellwinds used to be a much smaller town. Now it's a thriving hub of activity thanks to the Dwarf Corporation. I see. Thanks, Toy Guy. Alright. It is time to get our asses out of town. And more lessons. Special location. Dungeon marker. Yes. Alright. Oh, we're getting furious right away. Jaeger. Christinger. I Ahab. Leela. Aquas. Golder. Lies. Boxer. Alright, we got some furious right off the bat. That's nice. Alright, here we go into the soul planes. What an interesting place. In the tent boy. <laughs> This is the Soul Plains. Hey, why don't we set up camp here and call it quits for today? It's too early to feel tired. Come on, let's go! Fine, yeah, let's fine. Go, More lectures. Alright, gotta love Aaron and her lectures. Heart destruction. Certain sections of enemies can be weak to specific weapons. Okay. Small damage numbers, this isn't the same thing as the weight catch that you get from the weak point. You launch an enemy in the air, that will damage the part, no matter what weapon you're using, right? So send everyone flying, is what you're saying. Experience gold for destroying parts, alright. I most likely will never be able to damage a part, but... Yeah. Alright. Let's do this! 
I really hate this way of moving. Executing shooting slash. Here I come. Let's go, Aaron. <laughs> Stay down. Is it true? Let's do this. Let's not. Slash. Get ready. I really should have learned how to move. Let's back do this. Side with the Next. That was nothing. So it's not the ammo keys to press it. Okay, Spaceball brings up the map. Look at her. Look at her. Get ready. Yeah, the, this not being on move shit is kind of annoying. You shall die, bees. Not yet. Ooh, or I should die. Items. Potion restore. I don't think 500 is enough. It's not over yet. Stay down. All right. Thanks for me taking him down. I managed to get that. They're the same fucking HP. All right, good. Get ready. Get ready. I shall do this handicap if I have to. That was close. Okay, you know what? God damn it. Not yet. Damn it all. First aid extra kit. I, sh I will not die. Ow. Magic. They're in the perfect position even though I'm crippled. Shooting slash. shooting slash and kill them now. Stay down. Get out of here. Alright, good. System. Config. E map. Does it tell me how to move the camera? Camera left to right. J and L. Are you serious? Camera movement to J and L. Are you freaking kidding me? I really should have beat my, my key binder, but it's too late now. Inside. Yes, got Get ready. All right, J, L. Yep, works. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm not half as crippled in this as it was before. Next. Well, I really need to move nothing. those key bindings around. <laughs> I'm even stronger now. Level up. Level three, baby. No. Fuck everything. Damn it. Get ready. That was actually for that. But he missed. Huh. That was fine. Stay down. Goodbye, that was fucker. nothing. Whew. Alright. Let's move it. In the next day there we go. Yes, Get right. ready. Now that I'm not wholly idiotic. Come. Executing shooting slash. This will make it easier for me to get experience points and possibly not that die in a fight. Yeah yeah. Alright. God damn it! Spacebar is the map. Is that it? That thing launched over there. That has to be the fury. Jeez, you're working me to the bone. Let's just hurry up and pull it out so we can get out of here already. You want to pull out already, Fang, but we just got yeah. in. Just a moment, please. Huh? Oh? Well mm -hmm. met, Traveler. You seem quite fatigued. Oh, we are. Oh, uh, no, not not really. You would like some of that chamomile no, tea? No. I'm sure you must be exhausted. Or well, whatever tea you have. If you would, please, have a taste of this delicious tea. It's quite effective at relieving any and all weariness. Bang, don't trust her. I oh, wouldn't. That doesn't sound half bad. I gotta admit, 
I was starting to get a little thirsty. Yes, of course you were. Hey, uh, don't you think this is, like, super suspicious? Yes, yes, I do. your parents teach you not to take things from strangers? They probably didn't teach him at all, no. Hey, didn't you hear a word I said? Activate paralysis. My, my body. I can't move. There we go. Was that paralytic tea? Jeez, Fang. Yes. You moron. I... Who the hell are you? Oh my. Not one word of gratitude after I just served you some delicious tea? How rude. <laughs> Well, it matters not. Um, my name is Tiara, and this is my fairy partner, Kiwi. Kiwi! You still have much to learn about being a fencer if you fell for such a cliché trick. No kidding, right? You have learned a valuable lesson, yes? As a token of your gratitude, I shall accept this fury on your behalf. Uh, hold on! That's just downright dirty! Well, it's not really doing it if you're stupid enough to fall for it. Surely you just, for I am squeaky clean. Now then, drink. What the heck is it? More poison? No, it's an antidote. I cannot bear the thought of leaving you in this state. If you consume this, you'll be able to move in roughly five minutes. During those five minutes, I shall take my leave of you. Oh, really, Tia? Yeah. I thought you were being kind for a second. But you're really just a low-down, dirty trickster. The only dirty thing here is your face. Your fairy friend has quite a shameful face, too. Hmm. Uh, I suppose you two are meant to be. Man, I've got what the other one's like. What? what did you say? Tell me about it. She's got a really foul mouth, too. Oh, my. It seems we're getting along rather swimmingly. Now's not the time for you two to get along! You're right. Hey! You stuck-up bitch! You've got a rotten attitude! You better watch your back from now on! And activate TR's other side. How can you say something so dreadful? <sighs> but for so some reason, mm -hmm. I am getting rather excited! Tiara, aka the masochist. What's wrong with this chick? Now that I have the item I was after, I shall take my leave of you. Good day. Good day. We shall see you soon. Hey! Oh, wait! Oh, Fang! Get it together! We need to go after her! My body's still paralyzed! I can't move! Punch him in the nuts, that might get him to move. If not any if anything to the ground at least. Alright. Off we go. What's my health at? Um, no. Right here. Item. Item City. Oh, oh, some oh. things that want to kill me. Very, very badly. Yeah. I'll kill you before you kill me. Let's kill him and the bird. Let's do this! Let's do this. You shall never kill me, bird. Not yet. You shall never kill me. Next. Not yet. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I take back everything I just said. You can probably kill me. Probably. Let's use another one while we're at it. Let's do this! Slash. Back! Attack! Get ready! Win. Slash! Get ready! Wing flap! I hate when that covers up my HP. Stay down! Oh. That was close! Alright. Oh, well, we're doing somewhat fine. I've got to take yet another freaking potion, though. That is no joke. That's for damn sure. Alright, over here is another event. Let's go from here without being attacked. Bring it. 
footsteps. Oh my, who are you? <laughs> I'm a low-level hoodlum. It's customary to encounter someone like me at this point. Now shut up and hand over that fury. How droll. I have nothing to give to someone as boring and uninspired as you. Then I guess I gotta use force to claim my prize. I may as well snag you while I'm at it, too. <laughs> I can't wait to see that cute face of yours after it's soaked with tears. I want to see that, too. Yes. Hi, Hero. Huh? Who the hell are you guys? I love how he calls himself a low-level hood. Oh my. So you decided to pursue me. Thing, was it? Yes. I understand. You've come to shower me with love. <laughs> you certainly are an adorable boy. Oh, Tia. That's not why. You? Are you this woman's ally? No, we're her slave. Nope. Yes, that is correct. This is my loyal servant. Oh, Fang, this bothersome rogue is attempting to force himself upon me. Could you be a dear and assist me? No, no. Who the heck is gonna help you? <laughs> so you're also a fencer, huh? Good timing. Hand over your fury, too. Aw, oh, crap. Damn. Yep. I guess I've got no choice now. Oh, you do not. No, you do not. Ha 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 Easily defeated. Good work, really was low level. You level. are quite strong. What hole did you crawl out of anyway? Give us back our fury! I'm afraid I can't do that. But you can join us, can't However, you? I will give you something much more wonderful than any fury. What? Is it meat? Tell me it's meat. So furies mean less to you than meat? He reminds me of a certain female fighter in Persona 4. <laughs> it's even better than meat! I shall let both of you become my servants. How does that sound? Isn't this wonderful? This makes you happy, right? Yes, sure, Tia, sure. Huh? I'd feel much safer traveling with skilled individuals like yourselves. When a helpless, beautiful maiden such as myself travels alone, I am often accosted by all sorts of brigands. Why, you selfish little... Why should we team up with you in the first place? Oh my. This would be beneficial for you too as well. Having more people in your party during combat is advantageous, right? She's got you there. Additionally, a relative of mine manages a nearby inn. So I can also provide you with a place to rest for the night. Give me a break! Why should we travel with an underhanded, conniving, two-faced? Yeah, food. Does that inn have tasty food? Certainly. I heard that they acquired a chef from a five-star restaurant. All right, let's team up. You're just saying that for the food, aren't you? Yes, yes, he is. You should know Fang by no, now. that's not the only reason. She's right. Battles will be way easier if there's three of us. Yep. It'll be easier to collect the Furies, too. It'll be easier to grind up levels, too. You better not make her collect the Furies while you slack off! Anyway, take me to that inn of yours. I want to know what five-star food tastes like. Yes, please follow me. Hey, wait a sec! Hey! We shall never wait. And we shall not wait for food. Yar has joined the party. Self. Fury. Butcher. Whenever you obtain a new fury, you can eat fury each fury. Then resides in the fury selection. Yes. Alright. There's experience. Yes. Yes. 
I'll switch command. Alright. I'll most likely never use the switch command, but okay. That's how we increase the points we get from fighting a bunch of enemies. Alright. Meanwhile... I don't care what happens to me. Just spare my grandchild's life, please. Grandpa! Grandpa, Shut up. no! If you keep laughing, I'll kill you with one blow. If you want to save yourselves, hurry up and fork over all your stuff. Never. Leave that kid with us, too. Don't worry. We're not gonna kill her. Oh yeah, we're only gonna do something worse to her. We'll make sure we get a good price for her. After we've had some fun with her first. Pinky. <laughs> no! Oh, what the heck? Oh crap. A sad storm. Pardon me. You seem to be in some trouble. Damn that sandstorm is alive. Huh? You're who the hell are you? Where do you come night. from? Has Why appeared. are you here? What would you like to know about me? My name? My way of life? Or perhaps, my prowess with the sword? I don't want to know you at all. I forgot about you before. Ah! 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 My name is Sherman Challenger. Not that my name should matter to a dead man. Sure. Enemy force has received additional reinforcements. What's going on here? My loyal minions! They're... Why, you... I won't forgive this! We don't care. I see. You wish to follow them into the afterlife. This will not be pleasant for you. Ryushin, release your full power and prepare for assembly. Negative. Enemy strength inadequate to Oryx assembly. Probability of victory at your current power level is 100%. I would prefer to hold nothing back when facing my enemies, but in this case, I'll make an exception. You, you bastard! I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but no one makes a fool out of me! I'll cut you to pieces! <laughs> <laughs> That? Your prognosis was correct, Ryushin. Now then, are you injured, sir? I'm fine. Thank you very much for saving us. Thank you, mister. I merely did what had to be done. I delivered swift justice to those who had fallen into the ways of evil. <laughs> what in the world? Wow, how pretty! I bid you safe travels. Have a wonderful day. Now then, let's go, Ryushin. You're right. <laughs> How fortunate. Truly. Truly fortunate for me to show me. I've already forgotten his last name. Alright then. Let's go back to the city. And... Here we are, the Sunflower Inn. First, we should try the five-star food. Next, we'll eat some more five-star food. Then we'll eat even more five-star food. And finally, we'll wrap up the day by eating the rest of the five-star food. You. So, where is all this five-star food anyway? Welcome, I've been expecting you. Please take good care of us. Who's this old lady? This is the manager of the inn, and my relatives, she'll be cooking for us. This old lady's the five-star chef. She doesn't look the part. Do not worry, her skill in the kitchen is on par with any five-star chef. You fraud! You totally lied to me! Her cousin's wife's eldest brother's friend is a five-star chef. 
which means by the transitive property that she is one too. What does that have to do with the cooking? You know what society calls someone like her? A stranger, you got that? Hey kid, you really don't believe that I'm a five star chef, do you? Well, my last name happens to be five star. That means I really am a five star chef. What kind of stupid joke is that? It doesn't matter so long as the food tastes good, right? If you nitpick the details, you will end up with severe athlete's foot. That's not even possible. What kind of logic is that? Oh my, you have athlete's foot, young man? That's gross, Fang. You better not walk around this place in your bare feet. That is absolutely positively not true. My feet are 100% fungus free. Stop your complaining and let us hurry along to the room. There are some things I would like to discuss. I'll give you some medicine that'll clear up your athlete's foot in no time. Hope that cheers you up. Like I said, I don't freaking have athlete's foot. I don't, I swear. I'm glad we found a place to stay, but I'm pretty sure Matt, I'm pretty mad at the art. Me too, she totally lied about this place having a five star chef. You're still going on about that? Alright. What did you want to talk about? Can you close your eyes for a bit? Sure, I guess, but seriously, what's going on? You will know soon enough, but for now, please close your eyes. I, I don't really get it, but I guess I'll play along and I forgot to save the game before doing this. Crap. Aaron, you too. I, I know. Now then. I forgot to save the game. Crap. Whoa, it feels like my body is floating. Not yet. Do not open your eyes. Hey! This ain't gonna be good. Okay, you can open them now. What the hell? And I see you're naked. Why not? Damn. The vile god and the goddess. Both with swords impaled inside of their body. Whatever shall we do? Save good or what? What the? Where are we? What's the giant woman doing here? Oh wait, that's a statue. The, the goddess. Ah, so you noticed? As expected of a fairy. Well, what passes as a fairy, that is. Jeez, dear. I'm not going to dignify that with a remark. That remark with a response. Please. What is this place? How did we end up here? This is the dimension that exists between the boundaries of reality. In layman's terms, it is similar to a waking dream. This is my, no, Kiri's special power. Kiri! I see. That's an amazing ability. So, we're not in reality right now. Gotcha. Pretty, that's pretty mysterious. Long ago, the goddess was sealed in this space, and over there you can see... The vile god! Huh? That's right. The vile god, a malevolent entity who attempted to destroy the world long ago. As you can see, he is currently sealed by the sword stabbed into his body. You're right, I can detect a faint flicker of magical energy. He's not dead then. The same goes for the goddess, too. Ah, now that I'm seeing this up close, what are their sword things supposed to be? They are furies, but the power of the fairies residing in them has diminished over time. Oh, you're right. Those are furies. Not every fury hit their mark, though. The ones that missed eventually made their way to the human world. So those furies and their fairies ended up like me. Hmm, I don't get it. What's up with this place anyway? Using the fury we obtained earlier, we will remove the swords that are stabbed into the goddess. Um, no, no, no. I'm not doing the goddess. I'm doing the vile god. 
Are you saying you're going to remove the goddess seal? Precisely. Alright, we're about to wrap things up. I'm gonna wish for all that tasty food I can stomach. She's not going to revive just by removing one or two swords. More importantly, what did you mean by using the Fury? We must transfer the Fury residing in the Sphere to the one of the Dormant Furies, activate it, and then pull it out. And that will revive the Goddess? No, there is something else we need to do in addition to that, but I do not exactly know what that is. How do you not know the most important part, and how do you know about all this anyway? Even I didn't know about this place. A fencer must educate themselves about the goddess and the vile god. It is far stranger that you two do not know anything about this at all. Besides, the only reason we are able to visit this place is because of Kiri. Of course, if you weren't missing your memories, you would already know of all this, right? This must be embarrassing for you. Ugh. I, I, can th I can think of a response. Hey, Fang, don't just stand there and say something. Hmm, so basically we gotta collect fairies so we can use all the fairies inside of them to release the seal, right? So if our original goal hasn't changed, then who cares, right? Well, yes. Ah, uh, also, if you attempt to remove a sword, something will attack you, so please be careful. What do you mean, something? It's probably some kind of defense mechanism that protects the seal. That's right. If it can be quite difficult to handle, please be careful when you pull out the swords. So, you've already tried to do that? Well, it seems theories that have bonded to a fence that can't be used. Perhaps that's because the pact they formed is still in effect. You sound like you've experienced this before. This better not be a trap. I would do no such thing. You think I've forgotten about that tea stunt you pulled? Such details are irrelevant. The three of us are all trying to revive the goddess, correct? No. I I'm not. Then it's settled. We will collect the Furies and break the goddess's seal, understood? No, we shall collect the Furies and break the vile god's seal. I wish we knew some other way to do this. We just gotta roll with it, I guess. Yay! Alright. More lectures. Let's remove the Furies. To do so, you need that. Yes. First, choose either the Goddess of Vile God. Of course, no sane person would ever choose the Vile God. I know, right? No sane person would ever do that. Next, select which Fury seal you want to remove. Each one has an assigned ring. With the Fury seal, then transfer it to the Fury. If the Fury is transferred, it cannot be undone. When you will successfully remove the Fury seal, you'll have the access to its ability. Alright. It's said that the goddess and the vile god were created from light and darkness, respectively. These deities fought each other long ago, and eventually sealed each other away. Allegedly, the goddess fought to protect all life, including the lives of humans, while the vile god sought to return all existence to nothingness. The Fury's power is keeping them sealed, but so much time has passed that the seals are starting to weaken. Like Tiara said, we may have to fix the seals ourselves. If the Vile God ever awakens instead of the Goddess, the world will come to an apocalyptic end. So we need to do our best to collect the Furies and prevent that. Just to reiterate, you're collecting Furies in order to release the Gods to seal. If you release the Vile God seal, all kinds of terrible stuff can happen. Be careful breaking seals, okay? Yes, okay. Alright, well... Yes, finish the godly revival. Um, Alright. Damn it, no. Save the game. Alright, you guys, that's gonna be it for this episode of Fairy Fencer F. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you then.